everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my channel for another episode of The Sims 2. Let's play Pleasant View Season 2 University. We're here with the sorority sisters who are, uh, this is our last part. And they're all, um, they're all doing their thing. They're all having fun. We're all having a great grand time. There's a kind of a lot, but I'm going to try and focus on just a couple of the girls just to wrap up. One of them, it's definitely Katrina because she's been dealing with a lot of stuff. <laughs> she's kind of involved in things in other parts of the town. Um, and also uh, a little bit of Brittany because she is our leader and she's been doing some interesting things. Um, Dante Caliente is calling Sam. Hello, Dante. She's taken. <laughs> um, Katrina has some things she wants to get done. She uh, recently hooked up with Gilbert Jaquette in Gilbert's part, which was uh, kind of surprising, but she's still furious with Skip. She is very, very pissed off with him right now. And uh, I don't really blame her, but she's kind of making these interesting choices and decisions. Um, she is also super attracted to Ty Bubbler, like, the most. But her and Sam have a very strong relationship, like, the like, practically best friends. Um, and so she wouldn't go after Ty Bubbler. Not like that. Katrina may be going around cheating and uh, hooking up with her stepfather, ex-stepfather, past stepfather, previous stepfather. Um, but she's not going to be the one to... Um, be a home wrecker and ruin her good friend's relationship. No siree, Bob. This lady's trying to get us to work out. I want to say no to that. I accidentally clicked no. We also just hired a maid to help take care of a few things. Um, but one thing, as you can see, that is really interesting is Brittany and Heather are like good friends now. It's really confusing. I think that they've just decided to see eye to eye a bit more it's interesting like i same with caster and ashley last part they too were more friendly with one another than they were arguing now and i think that that is um them maybe growing up a bit or um i don't know why you're like full on in her face but she's have see, she's telling her a good joke. Um, Brittany seems to really, really like the conversation right now, which I'm I'm intrigued by the fact that they're getting along because something that we need to do for the boys is make sure that we have some freshman blood coming in, and we will be having more of the teens from Pleasant View coming to university soon, and maybe the excuse me. Um, are you really flirting with Brittany right now? What is happening? <gasps> oh my god, Sam! So she is, um, bi, um, and she is attracted to Brittany more than Ty Bubbler. <gasps> no! Sam! You and Ty were, like, literally, like, I love you two together. I don't want you. Oh, <gasps> No! Oh my god, no. They're gonna make out. Should I let it happen? I'm gonna let it happen. No! Sam! I'm dead. What is going on? No! <gasps> She's cheating on Ty! Ugh. I don't know what to do right now. I'm so upset. Oh my god, this girl just walks by. She's like, hey, hey. G- Zuz Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's going on forever. I need to I need to move away. <gasps> Gee whiz. Um because uh, I was also gonna say something that I, I realized about Brittany is that she's actually bi. Um she's interested in both girls and guys. Here I shall show show preferences. Um and she actually kind of leans more towards female, which is also interesting because she has um such a strong attraction to Caster, but actually she has a stronger attraction to Sam. 
all very interesting, but I am a little, um, a little thrown off because Sam, again, Sam and Ty were so cute, so sweet. Like we knew Sam was interested in girls as soon as like we first introduced her, but Ty, I don't know. Ty just confessed and she, and she was like, I don't, maybe Sam's not as sure as she thought she was. That's insane. Oh my God. And now she's charming her. I need you to walk away and go do some skill building. There's a streaker coming in. All is well. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to make sure that the girls all get their skill point um, properly so that they can um, do well in school. She's working out so much. You actually have to go to class. Yeah, crazy. You've been working out this whole time. You had the maid stuck upstairs because you were just blocking the way. How dare you? Cool. Okay, cool. So, um, <laughs> no. Oh my God. Go work on your skills. Oh my God. These Sims just don't listen to me. Okay. Um, Lysa does want to also buy a hot tub and I think that would be really fun. We do only have 7,500 simoleons and I think a hot tub costs 65. Yeah. Um, so that'll leave us with a thousand simoleons, but I think we'll be okay because we will have our exams coming up really, really soon, and then we can move on with that. So yeah, Heather and Brittany are getting along, which I'm glad for because having them fighting all the time was super annoying, and, <laughs> um, I think they're very different people, and that's, um, whatever, um, but Heather has her eyes set on Castor and Dante Caliente, um, which Lysa also has her eyes on um, Castor and she's slept with Ashley. She did want to do um, Woohoo with five different Sims, but we will see. So we're going to invite Dante over for Heather and see if she can connect with him. Sam does want to go on a date. So we might invite Ty over and my girl Tiffany is the only one that wants to do her term paper and her school stuff. Oh God, we invited him over, but we literally have class. Um, Tiffany, last part, agreed to date Kevin Bear. And I think that's really nice for him. But for her, she is not as attracted to him as she is to other people. She still really, really, really likes Castor Nova. And I mean, who doesn't like Castor Nova? But he is engaged to Allegra. And so, you know, it's just kind of nice. But she's glad to be with Kevin and we might just give him a call. She is working though and Tiffany does care greatly about her grades and becoming a doctor, I believe, or a mad scientist, sorry. So working on that for her is important. That's why she's a physics major. Like she's got a difficult major ahead of her and she wants to go to class and she wants to do her assignment. She also wants to do research with somebody. So she is fully focused on her grades and she's the only one. Oh, they're in a hot tub. Oh my God, we invited Dante over for Heather, but Lysa scooped him up instantly. And I guess Dante is, he was kind of um, keeping his distance from Lysa, but um, obviously they enjoy each other's company and um, that's that's totally cool. She is attracted to him the most. I used to think this was four lightning bolts also, by the way, just to, <laughs> I don't know this game at all. So we'll just leave them to soak in the hot tub. That's all fine and fun and cool. Brittany thinks Dante's pretty hot too. Uh, and kind of wants to get to know him, but she can't join in the hot tub. She feels a little left out. There's um, food that we need to get rid of, so please do that. Um, and Sam, did you get your skill point yet? Not yet. She's so, so close, but she does need fun, and she's just not liking this stuff. Um, so yes, yeah, for Katrina, though, I actually want her to, one, change into her every day, get out of her nasty workout clothes. I'm going to actually see if I can change her gym clothes to something better. Sure, put on like these. I, I don't care. Anything other than what you had before. Oh, wait, what's in the... Oh, no, that's bad. Okay. 
So, oh Lord Jesus. Okay. Um, what I want her to do actually is she wants a kind of date. And I think I want to invite over Malcolm Land Grab. Katrina is understanding that her half the siblings just aged up into teenagers and that Malcolm is still being a bum face, for lack of a better term. So what I want or what Katrina wants is to kind of make Malcolm feel like she's on his side and that she's, you know, with him all the way sort of thing, but that she's really not. She's, um, she's kind of making way for, um, later plans, which a lot of you are giving Katrina a ton of credit for being, manipulative and being strategic and being all these things. And you know what? I live for it. I do live for it. I cannot think like that. I'm like, Katrina's just going to be nice and she's going to be like, oh, whatever. Who is this man? Your ponytail, sir, is disturbing. A disturbing ponytail. That's what I think. But Malcolm is here. We're going to come greet him. He's very excited to come visit us on campus. Um, and we may or may not ask him on a date here. We seem to be more attracted to him now. I don't know why, but we're coming to greet him. Um, Heather and Jane Stacks are not friends. Just stay saying. I love Katrina's outfit. Can this gym lady go away, please? I don't want to work out. Oh, my God. Aren't I fit? Like, I don't understand. Can you, for, like, not have me working out? I really, really appreciate that. So we're going to come and chat with him. We want to maybe just chat, maybe just share interests, maybe just gossip. I don't know, that sort of stuff. And see how that goes. Okay. Oh, He's attracted to Lysa Dreamer, too. Can you imagine if Lysa also gets in with um, with Malcolm? Uh, but I, Heather really, really, really wants to chat with Dante and maybe do a little bit of charming and a dirty joke and all of this um, fun stuff. Maybe a tickle. She's like, hey, call me. <gasps> she looks like a Barbie doll also, by the way. Just saying. Of course, the garbage truck runs by right when I was here. Nice. Okay, Dante seems to like it too, which is fantastic. Let's maybe do the school cheer and smooth talk him because we love that. Maybe some more um, like suggestively for alert and all of that fun stuff and we do need food okay cool so Katrina's talking with Malcolm we got two kind of conversations or dates going on at once um and I think I thought Katrina is in her workout where let's please ignore that maybe just for a minute but I think what she's going to do is ask him on a date and kind of have their official first date here and we're going to see how this goes. He does want to get a puppy, which is fun. Um, oh, she wants to befriend Skip again. I guess she does miss him. And while she's, she does want to work it out with him. That's how I'm going to take that. But for now, we're going to do a few of these wants and have at least a decent date with him so that we can um, maintain this relationship and, again, keep him pretty much nice uh keep him pretty much under our thumb sort of thing sort of thing you know <gasps> okay she's telling him a secret she's like you know what i heard some of these things through the grapevine and you know that you're the top of your game you know that right and and he's like, oh my gosh, I know. She's like, you're so rich. You're so successful. <gasps> oh, 
He wants to marry her. He wants to marry her. <gasps> Katrina. What are you doing to this man? You got this man coming after you hard. And if he wants you, Malcolm is the kind of guy that is going to get what he wants, whether you like it or not. <gasps> he wants to slow dance with us. Uh, but we just want to dance dance with him. But I guess that would... um. Okay, stop talking. Stop talking. Come inside. Um, Heather, I know you want to... Maybe give him a romantic hug. Sorry, I'm just going back and forth on them. Maybe a tender kiss. A smoochy smooch. Um, and then we can try slow dancing with our boy Malcolm. And I think he'll really like that. There we go. We're having a good date so far. She does want to kiss him. Flirt with him. Give him a back rub. All of this good stuff. No, um, Ashley, I have no time to play catch with you, girl. Uh, we'll give him a romantic hug. He wants to make out. He wants to kiss. She wants to make out with him, too. Are we just going to do it in the room? Let's just do it in the room. Jesus Christ, I can't believe this is happening. <gasps> Katrina, is this... Are you Are you sure? Is this really for the thing? Oh, but she wants to be ba to best friends with... Him. We'll do the makeout, and then I think she'll tell him to leave. He does want to woohoo with her, and she does want to have a dream date with him. <gasps> Gosh, guys, oh my god. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this to happen from this. I know that seems kind of dumb, but it's true. <sighs> okay, well, she just wants to kiss him again, but he wants to woohoo, but, you know, we're in charge of her, so I'm going to put her um needs or her wants ahead of him um and i think oh no okay we're gonna go woohoo in the hot tub we're gonna go woohoo in the hot tub oh whoops i canceled it go woohoo in the hot tub oh my god kid join um, this is awful. This is not what I was expecting. I was not, mm -mm, no, this was not how I saw this ending up, you know? Oh my god, hang on. We're, we're I'm breaking things. Give me two seconds. We just gotta pause. Let's do that. There we go. In you both go. And we're having our first woohoo in the hot tub together. At least there's no, um, no chance of the pregnancy because we're in the hot tub, JK. That's not how this works. Um, cool. Are they doing it? Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, I don't like this. I don't like this. This isn't what I wanted. No. Like, her and Gilbert, I was like, they cute. But them... Also, her hair is in her chin, and it looks like a beard. She's giving him... Oh, it's all the all the foreplay. Okay, let me just speed this up. Oh, he doesn't want to be here? Hello? Can we, can we just... Okay, hang on. Get in. Get in. Ask to join. I will... Oh, he's hungry. That's why. Oh, okay, cool. Maybe... You know what? She does want to woohoo, but... Um, uh, it's late. Maybe I'll just serve up some burgers, get the food going. Everyone seems to actually be in a really bad mood. <laughs> I should take care of everyone. Is no one going to get pizza? I thought I, what is the point of a sorority if no one is getting pizza? Did Sam just congratulate Tiffany on having two loves at once? I think she just did. Sam, she's like, girl, good on you for playing guys all at once. And Tiffany's like, a, a thank you. I don't I don't know if that's um that's what I wanted. Um You know what? We are having a dream date. You know what? I'm gonna say end the date with Malcolm. I don't want the moohooing. I just don't want it. I don't want it. So we're gonna end the date and we're gonna make some burgers. And it looks like she wants to invite over Skip tomorrow and um, and try and rectify their relationship, which I have no idea how that's going to go. I have no idea how that's going to go. Her family tree is also gigantic. Can we just take a moment <laughs> to show all of 
her family. Jesus Christ. She has so many family members. It's actually insane. Oh, these family trees. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is skip until tomorrow. And um, and we'll be having skip over. And I'll see you guys then. Oh no. I was waiting off camera because it is almost time for our exams. We're about seven hours away for most of us, and I will be um, pushing the other girls ahead so that they're um, more aligned. Heather is just slightly, hers is in two hours. Um, and Sam and Brittany decided to woohoo in the hot tub, making her um, cheat on Ty, which apparently she doesn't have the affair. Um, memory which sure okay fine um and Brittany has now done i believe she has three loves at once and i think that was her third woohoo or her second woohoo i guess that's her second person she's woohooed with my lord it's dramatic um but katrina is back from her um class i did want to wait though and i'm gonna skip ahead again i just wanted to show the woohoo really quickly because oh my lord it was <gasps> um and awkward um but i will go ahead and skip until our exams are done in a few hours and then katrina wants to throw a party and invite skip over um and try and work it out together so we'll see how that goes Alrighty, guys so everyone um Everyone is back from their exams. We did decently. Um, Katrina got a B. Brittany got a B. Lysa got a C plus. Um, Tiffany got an A, a minus, and Sam got a B as well. Heather actually got an A plus and made the Dean's List, which I'm not surprised about because she is uh, making sure that she is uh, ahead of the game. Um, Skipbroke was visiting earlier, but um, we had an exam to go to, so we didn't um, greet him. Uh, but again, Katrina wants to throw a toga party. And so do a lot of the other girls. So we're going to go ahead and do that and invite over um, everyone. Um, it's going to be really interesting because Brittany and Sam keep making out with one another at this party. Or uh, not at this party, but they keep making out with each other in general. And I feel like um, if we invite the frat boys, which we will be doing, um, and we invite um, Ty... And he sees them that he's going to get his little heart broken and I'm not ready for the pain. I'm just saying I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and invite. We got to go through. Oh, everyone has different names. So I don't know what's going on. But we're inviting uh, Dante Caliente for sure. Ty Bubbler Skip Broke. But I might invite over a, f a lot of the other frat boys. How does Katrina not know the frat boys? That's weird. Okay, well, we'll just invite these people for the party itself. And then Brittany or Tiffany or something will invite um, over the frat boy household. So we'll invite Kevin and invite over the household. And we'll invite over everyone. Boom, 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 boom. And that should be everyone. So here everyone comes. We want to buy a car to you and we do want to talk to someone so where's my boy skip here he is okay we can come over and we're going to chat with him and we're going to see if we can befriend him again or at least get on the same ground i think she really did miss him and she was really really hurt but i think she regrets 
um, going as far along as she did, and she wants to make amends with him. I don't think she wants to break up with him right now. And, you know, he's always been a flirt, um, and he's just so glad that she... <laughs> She's back to, um, I'm not asking him to pledge. Um, he's back to, she is back to talking to him because she's ignored him for a few days now. Um, almost a, like a while. She ignored him for a while. And he, again, is just glad that she not came back to her senses or that, um, she's, she's talking to him again. And he's missed her so, so much. And, um... And yeah, and I think they're back to being in love. Ty, though, wants to get to know us, and we are really attracted to Ty. I mean, he's a sexy cutie pie. How could you not love him? <gasps> Ty, we want to hang out with somebody, so why don't we hang out with Ty Bubbler? <laughs> Distract him from the things that are happening. Are you really eating stinky pizza, Lysa? Yeah, also nasty. Okay, let's see who else is around. Heather does want to woohoo with... Dante. So I think I'm gonna go have her someone in the hot tub. Oh, Tiffany is in the hot tub with Caster. <gasps> no, baby girl. This is just drama everywhere. Jared's here. Why don't we talk with Jared? Someone talk with Jared. Um, I don't know. Anyone talk with Jared, please. Oh my god. We need food. We need food. We need um stuff. I'm gonna have Sam cook burgers for the party guests. Um, let's then, um, woohoo on the sofa. Who cares? Go upstairs. Go do your thing. This is a party of, like, literally hooking up with everyone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at Kevin. He just wants to talk with everyone. Have a good time. Oh, my God. We do like Ty. We want to have... Who? Who caught us? Oh, <gasps> no! Kevin! Kevin caught us! No! <laughs> Poor babe! No! I'm breaking! Ah! Kevin! Oh, baby! He's so upset! Look at them getting raunchy. He's gonna slap her across the face! <gasps> Oh, he's so upset. He's like, how could you do this to me? I thought you were nice. I thought you were different. But you're just like all the other girls. You only use me to get close to Caster. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This is so upsetting. And you know what? I think she's going to... Uh, uh. I kind of want him to break up with her, but I think she'll just break up with him for the sake of of the breakup she'll just say you know what i can't do this man like you, you like you uh, i can't do this I'm, I'm in love with caster not you you need to leave get out of here poor poor kevin we got caught cheating twice apparently <laughs> oh god damn it heather did you guys woohoo on the sofa yet it didn't work is it not working can we Let's try the the sofa again. Oh, he's saying no. That's why. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's awkward. She <laughs> she was rejected. <laughs> okay, we'll try. We'll try kissing. Let's let's focus. Oh, my heart is broken for poor Kevin. He can't get anything. Nothing goes his way. My poor poor baby. Look at Dante getting all the ladies. There's just so much drama and craziness and um, upset. I'm, I literally, I literally can't. And poor Kevin, now he's in this room like, Heather, can you talk to me? I need, I need friendship. And you know what? Heather is really good friends with Kevin. So maybe she will take a moment just to comfort him. Um, like, tell him, like, Kevin, you're such a great guy. Every girl, a girl would be so lucky to have someone like you in their life. And he's like, but Tiffany didn't. And he's sobbing. And Heather doesn't know what to do because she's just like, eh. 
Why is everyone in your room also, by the way? I don't know what's going on. We're eating burgers and talking with Caster Fantastic. Oh, my goodness. The party still has an hour 30 going on and everyone's doing homework or napping or chatting. I don't know. Oh, Ty is leaving. Ty, at least Ty and Sam didn't break up. That's something. I was not expecting Tiffany to go balls to the walls with Caster. And now she's like sleeping in her room with rotten pizza. <laughs> Kevin is leaving as well. Lysa seems to be going to pick up some more pizza because we need some more food in the house. Um, let's chat with Joshua. I think we... We are attracted to him as well, and we don't have much of a relationship. Is he nervous talking to her? Or he just doesn't care? Um, he's like, what are you talking about? Like, he, I think he likes her. Maybe because he knows that she's um, trying to hit on him and she's dating her his brother. I don't know. I don't know. But she wants a woohoo, so we need Dante to... Is Dante leaving? Damn it. Okay, where's Caster? I want you to, uh, no, not shoo him. I want you to appreciate him, talk with him, maybe smooth talk him, get that going. Talk about your hobby. I think it's music and dance. And try and become friendly with him so that we can do a bit more. Your relationships are bad with like all of these guys. So we need to work on that for Miss Heather. But everyone is chilling, <laughs> having an interesting time. I got to do a lot of work for them in terms of their skills for their next area. Lots of drama in these parts. I freaking I love it, but I hate it at the same time. It's so upsetting. Tiffany broke my poor baby Kevin's heart and she is not getting anywhere near caster that's for sure i don't know who he's gonna pick but we had a great party everyone did very well fantastic and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part so say goodbye to the sorority house for now it has done us quite well pretty decent um it's better than the boys house i think <laughs> let me know your thoughts um say goodbye to our leader Brittany. she may still not have many friends or anything, but I think she's actually doing a lot better and she's finding her own. Um, the fact that she also has a crush on Lysa, I just realized. That's insane. Um, I wonder who she's going to be with. Let me know your thoughts down below. Say goodbye to Heather, our little Barbie doll. Do you think that she will settle at all? I wonder. Uh, let me know your thoughts about Katrina and Malcolm. Do you think that she... Um, did the right thing by befriending Skip again. We will see in Skip's part how he feels, but I don't know. Um, and let me know again more thoughts on how she's going to deal with Malcolm. Um, we love Lysa Dreamer. I'm just, I'm just saying she's just like, she's just coasting through life. And, you know, I live for that. Sam has been our, <laughs> she's been our little black sheep, our little surprise. Like she takes us on a freaking roller coaster. I think she's one of my favorite Sims. Just saying. And Tiffany, you're really a bad girl. I thought you were a nice girl and I thought you focused on school, but no, you like to toy with boys' hearts and you like to go after the F boy and then do your term paper at the same time. You crazy. We'll see. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying the series, enjoyed this video in particular, do give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more as I put them out kind of when I do, when I can, when I want, when I when I get to it. Um, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. We are wrapping up. We have about three more parts until the end of the season. Um, again, if you haven't voted for the Simi Awards, be sure to do that down below. We have quite a few, but um, there could be more. So if you want to make a difference and see your favorite Sims win, our little categories. Um, be sure to vote. Survey Monkey link is down below. I live stream on Twitch a couple days a week and we'll be working on the Sims 4 Sparked Challenge. So be sure to come by for that. Follow me on Twitter to know uh, when I'm coming on stream. And other than that, I love you guys so, so, so very much. Thank you again for all your support and love. And I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye, guys. Oh,